Hello children, we are still doing the realms of the earth in which in the previous class you have learned the special features of the earth that is landforms which falls under lithosphere. So now you'll be studying about some of the special terms or the names of water bodies that falls under hydrosphere. So the first one is sea. Seas are usually smaller in size than the oceans. Oceans are bigger in size whereas seas are smaller in size. And seas are almost surrounded by land and the Arabian Sea is one example. Difference between a bay and a gulf. A bay is a body of water and close and close means surrounded by land on all the three sides. As you can see in this picture, a bay is surrounded by land on all the three sides. A bay is smaller than a gulf. It has a wide mouth. It means it has a big opening. Here you can see a bay has a big opening. A bay is also connected to an ocean or a lake. And the Bay of Bengal it is said to be the largest bay in the world. Then gulf. Gulf is a large part of an ocean or a sea and enclosed by land. So just like the bay, gulf also is surrounded by land on all the three sides. A gulf is larger than a bay. So here is the difference. A bay is smaller, whereas a gulf is larger. Another difference is that a gulf has a narrow mouth. It means it has a small opening, whereas a bay has a wide opening. A gulf is connected to the ocean. And the Gulf of Mexico is one example and it is the largest gulf in the world. Difference between isthmus and strait. Isthmus, it is a narrow strip of land. It means it is a small strip of land that connects two land masses. It means it connects the continent of North America and South America and it has got water bodies on both sides. Whereas strait, it is a narrow strip of water, a small strip of water that connects two seas or large areas. So that is a different. That connects two seas or large areas of water and it has got land on both sides. So here you can see the difference. Isthmus has got water on both sides, whereas Strait has got land on both sides. And Isthmus, it is a narrow land, whereas a Strait, it is a narrow strip of water that connects to sea. And the Park Strait is one example that connects India and Sri Lanka. Then the difference between island and lake. Island, it is a piece of land with water on all sides, whereas a lake, it is a water body with land on all sides. So these are some of the special terms or the names of water bodies that falls under hydrosphere. Human impacts on the environment. How has human affected the environment or the biosphere in which we live? Our nature has provided us innumerable things. It means so many things that we cannot count, like the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the land where we live in. We cannot compensate in return. It means we cannot pay back to our nature, except to take care and not to misuse them. Human activities have affected environment in a number of ways. Way. So here we are going to see what are the human activities that have disturbed the environment or affected the environment in which we live. Disposal of waste in rivers and other inland bodies has polluted water to such an extent that it cannot be self-purified on its own. As a result, plants and animals living in water have been kill where many sea creatures have been killed and it even lead to the point of extinction. All our economic activities are dependent on resource use but if natural resources are misused or overused they may not be available in future. Non-renewable resources such as minerals, oils and coal once exhausted that means once it is finished, it cannot be replenished or renewed in just a year. But we have to wait thousands and thousands of years for these mineral resources to be used. Therefore, if we do not check the current rate of the use, they are bound to be finished soon. And the major causes for the damage of environment are industrialization, population, urbanization, deforestation, increase in the number of automobiles and excessive use of fertilizers, pesticides, soap and detergents,
plastic and other synthetic materials. These are some of the major causes that harm the environment. Due to the increase in population, man need more and more land and for that they cut down the trees which we call deforestation. So deforestation, it is the destruction of forests to make the land available for other uses. And the activities of man which have disturbed the environment are cutting down of trees for wood, for construction of houses and buildings, deforestation for developing urban areas, mining to get various minerals, coal and petroleum, construction of roads, railway tracks, etc., use of large number of vehicles for transportation, generation of electricity through thermal power plants, hydroelectric power plants, nuclear power plants, and use of powerful products or harmful products such as plastic, pesticide, and chlorofluorocarbons. So these are the activities of man which have disturbed and polluted the environment. Deforestation has a negative impact on the environment. Now we all know that the roots of the tree help to hold the soil. But if the trees have been cut down, what happened to the soil? The soil become loose and this top soil will be blown away by wind or washed away by rain in which it will be carried and deposited in rivers or stream which leads to the blockage of flowing water in which the rivers and stream will become wide and it will lead to flood. Another negative impact on the environment due to deforestation is that it affected wildlife. We all know that wildlife depends on plants for shelter and fooding. Now if we human beings keep on cutting down the trees, what will happen to the wildlife? The wildlife will not have a place to live or the food to eat and these wildlife will also face the point of extinction. Another reason that has a negative impact on deforestation is that the release of carbon dioxide. We all know that plants take in carbon dioxide and give us oxygen. But if there are no more plants, where will this carbon dioxide go? This carbon dioxide it will release in the atmosphere and it will lead to global warming where it will heat the atmosphere, the earth that we live in and we human beings will be affected with so many kinds of diseases. So deforestation has a negative impact on the environment and it affected all the living beings. Humans are one of the living species of the earth. Therefore, it is our duty to look after nature. Man is considered as the most intelligent and dominating species, dominating because we are the ruling species of the earth and we are the ones who have used and overused most of the resources of the earth for our own physical comforts and the very survival of human beings is in danger due to shortage of portable water that is drinking water clean air and shelter therefore we should remember that the resources available to us especially the natural resources are the product of millions of years and these resources need to be properly cared and used judiciously that means to be used wisely by all of us so this is how we can save the environment so children i hope you all have understood so we have come to the end of this lesson so that is lesson four so thank you children and have a good day